Hi everyone, this is Parisa from TI. Today I'm going to show you how you can use sliders in the TI Inspire technology to teach transformations of functions. This is going to be the first part to a two-part series that will cover this topic. One of the most powerful tools in using TI Inspire technology is the ability to do dynamic graphing, which means that I can grab and drag an actual line and see those changes on the function of that graph. But what if I want a student to be able to observe how changing specific parts of a function can impact a graph? Auto sliders are the perfect way to do this. To use auto sliders, first I'm going to open a new document in my TI Inspire teacher software. Or students can open a new TI Inspire document on their handheld. When prompted, I'm going to add a graphs page. For this first example, I'm going to show you how to use an auto slider in a linear function. When I add a graphs page, I'm going to be automatically prompted to enter the function at the top of the page for f1 of x. In this case, I'm going to use mx plus b. But when I type it in, I'm going to type m times x plus b. And I'll explain why in just a minute. I'm going to be prompted and asked if I want to create a slider for both m and b. Once I hit enter, these auto slider boxes are going to be automatically created for me. I'm going to click on the empty part of the screen to deselect those boxes. And notice now I can grab and drag this slider button and observe how those changes affect just the slope or the variable m. Or if I want to, I can come and grab and drag the b slider button and see how that impacts the y-intercept. Notice that when I entered this equation, I didn't type a value for m or a value for b. The only reason the sliders were created was because I typed a variable for m and b. And this is what will prompt you and give you the option to create an auto slider. Had I not put the multiplication symbol between m and x, it would have thought mx was the variable, which is not what I wanted. So it's really important that whatever coefficient you're using in front of the variable x, you make sure you put a multiplication symbol there. For this next example, I'm going to insert a new problem because I'm going to want to use the variable b again. And remember that on TI Inspire technology in a document, whenever you define one variable, it's used for all the pages in that problem. So to insert a new problem, I can choose doc, insert number four and problem. I'm going to be prompted and add a graphs page again. This time we're going to use sliders on a quadratic function and I'm going to use a times x squared plus b times x plus c. Remember that I made sure to enter that multiplication symbol in between the a and the x and the b and the x. When I hit enter, I'm prompted again to create sliders for A, B, and C. I don't recommend using more than two to three sliders on a page because you'll just get really, it'll get kind of messy and there's only so much space to work with. So in this case, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this um, slider box. So I right clicked on that slider to choose move. And now I can grab and drag that whole box. So let's say I want to move C. I'm going to right click on C and choose move. So what I wanted to show you are some other options you have with these sliders. Notice when I right clicked and got the context menu, I can choose settings and I can change the value or the minimum and maximum of that slider. So let's say that I wanted to observe just changes of maybe 0.5 to 5 and hit OK. Now this is changing with a different scale. I also can, if I right click on here, change the style of that slider. So let's say that I want it to be vertical and minimized. Now what this does is give me just buttons that I can press to 
So it doesn't have that whole slider bar for me to grab and drag. Maybe you want students to just click through and observe those changes. And the last one that I'm going to show you is how you can use Animate where it runs through automatically and you don't have to click to change. So you might show this on a video um, or displaying this for students and ask, asking them to make those observations as it goes through the different values of C. When you're ready for it to stop animating, just right click and choose Stop Animate. So I've shown you a couple examples of how you can use auto sliders in TI Inspire technology to teach transformations on graphs. We went through an example of linear functions and quadratic functions but think about using this with the various formats of quadratic functions that you want to teach students. You can also use this for exponential functions, absolute value functions, and trig functions as well. I hope this helps you put another tool and another um, strategy for teaching transformations of functions.